I am the most organized, no, no, that's a lie. I am the most disorganized person on the face of planet Earth, and I cannot find my camera charger or my camera battery. I just got done filming an outfit of the day for you guys on my real regular camera and the battery is now dead and I wanted to film this video today too while I actually have my hair and makeup done and I can't find my charger. But I am still pretty excited about today's video because we only get to do this particular one four times a year and this is going to be our summer fortune cookie soap unboxing and I really wish that they did do this box more than four times a month they do it quarterly four times a month I wish more than four times a year but they develop and make and create all of their own products so I guess that that's kind of like a time-consuming thing to do obviously so uh, they only come out with them with the change of the seasons I cannot open this box let me go get something sharp BRB. And I'm back. <laughs> and I kind of ruined it for myself because I actually took a split second to uh, look at this sticker label, which usually discloses what the collection is going to be. So I saw it was Peter Pan, but I am so excited about that because I think, honestly, Peter Pan is probably my favorite Disney movie, or it's at least like right up there with The Great Mouse Detective. Love that Disney movie. Nobody talks about it. Nobody cares. It has Vincent Price in it. Just how did everybody miss that one? I don't know. And I don't even like Sherlock Holmes but I love The Great Mouse Detective. I don't know if that's like a frowned upon thing to say. I think Sherlock Holmes is pretty popular right now. But anyway, I sure do love me some Peter Pan. And this collection is called Straight On Till Morning. And it's got a little Peter Pan hat. You can see like some mermaids doing mermaidly things down here. And a pirate ship. I also love Captain Hook. I feel like he gets a bad rap. You'd be grumpy too if a crocodile ate your hand off right? I'm gonna go ahead and keep this card with me because I usually do need these cards. Normally in like monthly unboxings I just chunk them because don't nobody need that but I feel like I'm gonna need this one. They have a lot of different kinds of products so I'll just keep that oh, look right here on the top. We have a little Peter Pan feather. I used to really full-time be obsessed with Peter Pan when I was a kid and I used to run around, my mom made me like a little Peter Pan hat and I used to run around and I used to think I was Peter Pan and it was so much fun. I don't know why when I was a kid I always wanted to be like the boy character. Did any other girls have that problem? Or did any boys want to be the girl character? Why didn't I want to be like Tinkerbell or Wendy? Nobody wants to be Wendy. We're gonna look at this product first because it looks like alligator slime. I really wish that the iPhone would properly show you guys. Ooh, maybe it is. This is like electric radioactive slime green. This is called The Boy Who Never Grew Up and it is a salt scrub. I'm not sure if I've ever gotten a salt scrub from Fortune Cookie Soap before. My memory is that of a goldfish, however, so could be wrong. Ew, this is delightful. I wish that you could smell it for yourself. It actually looks like a slushy. It is packaged surprisingly neat in here. There's even like a little, like a little like whip on top. You know like when you get a cupcake and it's like got that perfect little amount of like, ugh, like some kind of like cream topping? That's what's going on here. This looks perfect. It smells like limes to me and I love lime scented things. It says that it is supposed to smell, I almost said taste, it's supposed to smell like a tropical margarita. I'm really really quite a fan of this one. And all this Disney stuff is coming just at the right time because uh, I'm about to go to Walt Disney World. I'm so excited. Ooh, uh, speaking of Wendy, the next product project we have is Wendy Bird. Wendy Bird, this almost, oh my goodness, it is a deodorant. Okay, I know that this is the first time we have ever gotten a deodorant from Fortune, Fortune Cookie Soap. And this is gonna be like kind of an exciting experience for me because I have never before tried like an indie brand deodorant. I've never even tried Lush's deodorant. I just like stick with like Dove or Secret or something like that. But this smells uh, really delightful. This once again smells very tropical. Ew, bright green apple with a balmy tropical twist. 
This says that it is a veggie protein deodorant. I cannot get over how delightful this smells. I swear, I'm gonna be so ready and so excited when YouTube gets like smell -a vision Who needs HD? I wanna be able to share the smells with you guys. Next we have something, and I can't tell if the product is this purple or if it's in a purple jar, but I think the product Oh, no, okay. It's kind of the product, kind of the jar. The product is more of a lavender kind of color, and the jar is just like super purple, so like combined, it's really impressive. And this is Lost Boys Whipped Cream. So this is a nice, light, fluffy, moussey body lotion. I always love the whipped creams that I get from Fortune Cookie Soap because they really do have like a nice whipped feel. How many times can I say whipped? Whip it good. Okay, uh, now I'm Devo. Ooh, golden apricot muddled with fresh white peaches. I'm really loving, and I guess it's because it's the summer collection, but I'm loving all of these kinds of like tropical fruity citrusy scents. Next, we are going to examine this red foil cube, and this is a steamer and I have gotten these before in other fortune cookie soap boxes and I love these things. I love just putting something in a shower that's kind of like aromatic and kind of just like works with the steam that the shower is already producing. So uh, this is actually called the Steam Me Up Scotty and uh, this is the Captain Hook product because it's talking about a codfish. Oh, and this is called the Captain. This is going to smell like dewy magnolias and wild berries drenched in fresh cream. You can definitely smell the cream and I like that a lot. It's almost like a tad bit of a vanilla kind of smell, but vanilla is not listed. I don't really know what a magnolia smells like, but if it smells like this, it smells good. Moving right along. Next, we have something I'm pretty excited about just because it's so teeny tiny, it's so adorable, it's so precious. And this is called Kiss, and I'm assuming that this is a lip balm, and it is. I wish all products were this teeny tiny. I feel like this is so convenient to put in a pocket or put in your purse. This is called Kiss, and it's supposed to be exotic watermelon. Not just regular watermelon, exotic watermelon. Juicy pineapple and coconut water, bursting with fresh citrus juices and you really can smell the watermelon. It also smells a little bit floral even though no floral ingredient is listed. I don't know maybe I'm just like smelling something incorrectly. I would try this on but I happen to be wearing some super vibrant lipstick today so we're just gonna move on to uh, Mermaid Glagloon. What? Glagloon. A mermaid Glagloon. That's where I live. We're gonna move on to Mermaid Lagoon, uh, which I think is a perfume. Oh, it's a perfume oil, and I'm about to bust it because I think that this is glass. It is glass. Listen to the clink. That's how you know it's real glass. I'm just going to try and show you guys this product as best as I can because it looks amazing. It's almost like a lava lamp or some kind of oil and water situation. At first I thought that there were like some kind of crystals in here, like, you know, like, um, like bath salts or something in the bottom. There are some kinds of perfumes like that. Something is just going on in here to make it look all separated and cool. And I'm gonna spray a little bit on you. Let's smell it together. What does it smell like? Oh, ew, I smell coconuts. You're supposed to shake it more than twice. It does say that it may stain clothing. Thank you for warning me. This definitely is supposed to have a coconut beach kind of smell. It almost does smell like maybe it's sandalwood or something or like driftwood, whatever you may smell on the beach. But the main thing that you smell is the very, very coconutty smell. Next, we get some hand sanitizer and this is called Tink. And I love Tinkerbell because she's so sassy and a little bit bratty and sometimes I identify with Tinkerbell. I always, always use their hand sanitizers. I use the whole world's hand sanitizers. I love hand sanitizer. And it is like a golden green color. 
Not sure how much that's showing up, but I'm thinking it's supposed to look like Tinkerbell's dress that she's always wearing. That is supposed to smell like fresh cherries in cream. I love cherry scented things, so that's a good thing. Sprinkled with toasted coconut and fairy dusting of powdered sugar. Definitely smell the cherries, especially the more that it's drying on my hand. And I feel kind of stupid because I put it on the same hand where I sampled the whipped cream earlier. So I think like kind of the scents are all mixing together on my hand right now. Moving on to our last product. This is their signature product because it is indeed the fortune cookie soap. And just looking at this, I think that this has to be my favorite of all time, like the way that it looks. It just looks almost like a galaxy or a night sky and that is just so impressive to me. I love glitter, especially chunky glitters and this is very, very chunky. Oh, it smells so delightful. What is this called? Oh, second star to the right. That makes sense because it looks like a sky. This is supposed to be crushed berries and mint leaves with a splash of sparkling pomelo, I almost said tomato, served over iced sugar cane. So this is definitely a very complex scent. There's a lot going on here, but I do like it. I especially like how I can pick up on the minty smell. I love minty scented products. And there is actually a fortune inside this fortune cookie. So let's read it together. It says, Fairies are much too small to feel more than one thing at a time. I feel like that's more of a fact than a fortune. Anybody else with me on that one? Last but not least, of course, for the grand finale, we've got worms. And they're this nice, pleasant teal color. Just like McDonald's, I'm loving it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna link y'all to fortune cookie soap in the info box just in case you're curious and you wanna try and get a box for yourself. This box may be sold out. They are really popular and they're uh, quarterly subscription services always do seem to sell out so you may not be able to get this box but you can sign up for the next one which will be in the fall I have no idea what that one is going to be but if any of these individual products sound good to you they may not be sold out yet they sell out of stuff super super quickly because sometimes I get these products like these smaller size products in this box and then I go and try and order like another one or full size and they're always sold out. So if any of this sounds good to you and you want any of it, I wish you luck. I hope that you can get it. I hope it's still available. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for spending some time with me. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator at Swangs. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyard girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyard girl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!